What is up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and we are checking out the latest news of the day. And of course, the big news is the Xbox reveal. It was just revealed, got a lot of stuff uh, to cover and talk about. I'm actually going to do a couple of different videos. This video right here, I'm going to cover a couple of topics that are very big, very important to Xbox gamers that were not covered in the press conference. And there's a good reason why, because it's probably going to piss you off. Uh, but I'm going to cover those items. I'm also going to uh, do another video where I talk about all the other stuff that uh, wasn't so bad uh, with the Microsoft press conference. Uh, but let's get into what the bad news is, okay? And, and by the way, Xbox is called Xbox One. That's the official name of the console. There were a few questions that gamers had uh, coming in. One, will it play used games? Two, will it play Xbox 360 games? And three, is it always online? So let's begin with the last one. Is it always online? No. You, you can play movies, you can play single player games offline, but they're going to give developers the capability to use their cloud computing, which means that game developers can, can actually uh, run game processes from the cloud instead of actually using the processing power on the Xbox console. So that's going to, to give, you know, developers all sorts of, of wiggle room with what they want to do. Uh, but what that means is any game that takes advantage of a technology like that where the cloud is used, uh, then it's going to be requiring an internet connection. So basically, it's left up to the developers to decide whether or not the game will be always connected or not. The next big question, will it play Xbox 360 games? Short answer, no. It's not going to play Xbox 360 games. They said that uh, th th they're still going to support the Xbox 360 for several years down the road. I think I just saw a headline where EA said that they are going to still be building uh, 360 games all the way up until 2017. But they said this current uh, console is built for the next generation of games. And so that's what it'll be playing. And it doesn't, it, it's not... Um, that decision was not made based on, hey, let's screw everybody who has an Xbox 360. Uh, they said the architecture just will not support the Xbox 360 games because they went to a brand new architecture, uh, the way the system is set up, and it won't play Xbox Live Arcade games or 360 games. So I know that's going to upset a lot of people, uh, and, and a lot of people will say, oh, well, I'm jumping over to PlayStation. And, and PlayStation is in the same boat, really, because they moved to a new architecture, and they also said that their PS3 games uh, will not uh, be playable on the PlayStation 4, but uh, what they're planning on doing is actually using their streaming service in order to allow players uh, to play their PS3 games. So they're still looking like they're, they're going to have that... Um, I guess, part covered as far as the PlayStation is concerned. And because Xbox has a huge cloud service, it's still left up, uh, you know, in the air as to whether or not they'll be able to offer a similar service to allow you to play Xbox games in the future. But as it stands right now, don't expect to play your Xbox 360 games uh, on the next Xbox One. And then the other big question that everybody's got on their mind is, will you be able to play used games on the Xbox One? And the short answer is yes. The long answer is probably with a fee. Uh, so this comes from a Wired article. They said each game you will need to install onto your hard drive, and then you can play that game whenever you like without having to put the disc in. Now, I like that. I like that capability, being able to put the disc in. Uh, install it to your hard drive, then it's there and you can play it at any time without having to get up and switch discs around. But then the question is, well, if I just need to install the disc, then what keeps me from handing it out to all my friends? They all install it uh, on their hard drive and now nobody needs the disc and we've all got the game. Well, there's the problem. Microsoft says that if a second hand uh, puts in the game, then they will be asked if they would like to pay a fee in order to be able to install the game onto their hard drive. So it looks like used games may be a, a possibility, but with a fee. And then the question is, how big is that fee? Is the fee going to be the same as, as what you would have to buy a new game anyway if you, if you went out and bought the disc? I mean, it basically makes the disc kind of obsolete, right? And you'll be able to just download everything digitally anyway, which is where everything's going. And it looks like this is just a way uh, or another way to phase out the disc to make it really just uh, a code that you buy, that you purchase, that you put in, it installs the game, and then there you go, you don't need it anymore. Uh, but it still remains to, to be seen how exactly that worked because 
because if you have a high fee, then of course people will just buy the game and that'll piss off a lot of people because that really just does away with renting a game. It does away with being able to, to hand your friends a game or even resell them. Uh, so that would take out a huge chunk of that used game market uh, depending on how big the fee is. And of course, if the fee isn't that big, then hell, you know, a few of your friends might go in together and say, hey, let's let's chip in, let's buy the disc, and then we'll just pay the fee and we'll all get a little discount. So it's going to be interesting to see how exactly that works out. But of course, those things were not mentioned in the Microsoft conference, and there's good reason why, because probably what I just told you kind of upset you. Uh, but either way, you know, we're going to find out more, and as soon as we do, you'll know it on VGNVideoGamesNews.com. Check out the links in the description box as well as the article where this came from. And if you want more, be sure you subscribe and check like and all that other good stuff. And stay tuned for more. I'll have another update where I bring you all the other stuff that was in the Microsoft conference that was a little bit better and easier to deal with. But I thought this deserved a video in and of itself because it is such big news. So many people want to know, can you buy used games? Can you uh, play back? compatible 360 games and so those answers probably not what you're looking for I'm sorry don't shoot the messenger don't dislike it just because I told you bad news I like it because I told you news all right so that does it for me the red dragon I'll see you next time thanks for watching